So here is my solution for mounting a Euro plate on the front of a van. Let's talk about why I did it, how I got here, and how I did it. As the owner of this four-wheel drive overlanding shagging wagon that takes me and my sweet wife to uh, parts unknown with an absolute ton of gear, um, one of the first things that I modified uh, from stock, uh, OEM as received condition, was uh, to put a couple of the, uh, the Rocky Mountain Westie bumpers on. And they have uh, two inch hitch receivers in both the front and the rear. And that's so that I can put a winch um, on the front or move it to the rear. It's not permanently mounted on the front like with the Jeep. And that's because I find with the van, a lot of times I nose into places that I don't really think I want to go any deeper into. So it's nice to be able to, you know, pull myself out uh, going backward and then go on about my business, whatever that may be. Now, I have a Rogue fabrication plate for uh, the winch, and it, it works great. It really does. But one of the, the downsides is there's a big gaping 2x2 two two inch hole in the front that kind of looks weird and you know you can put the plastic like receiver hitch covers or you know like a, a vw thing um but i was looking for a way to cover it up while i was thinking about how to mount our german license plate now as the owner of a classic german vehicle you have to have a german plate um so we contacted a guy on ebay that has great reviews that he does this for for a living um, and we had him do a custom plate. Um, with that, um, in my state, I don't have to have a front license plate. So, being bang boom, what do I do? I, uh, I decided to build a special plate carrier for the Euro plate that plugs into the two inch hitch. So, two birds, one stone. And when I do put the winch on the front, I just take the, the plate carrier out, set it inside the van. And then when I'm done, put the plate back on. Or at least that's the plan. I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I took a few measurements and then put on the thunking cap to see what would work best. And then went into AutoCAD and designed up the pieces for the bracket itself. I then saved it as a DXF and went to my favorite laser cut service, Send Cut Send. And uh, within 20 minutes had it downloaded, had pricing, and had everything on order. And in less than five days, it all showed up, and shockingly, it all fit first time. Completely unsponsored, but I will say that I am so happy with Sin Cut Sins, both quality of workmanship and their service. All right, everything dry fit really, really well together. As you can see, the two-inch tube it uh, fits it fits right in, uh, no issue at all. Um, I uh, I can't say enough enough good things about uh, putting these tabs in and that way to do kind of a plug weld it's so much stronger um, than just doing than just doing a surface weld and it's the whole reason for for these these aren't bolt holes this is so when I put um, this two inch piece in and it gets all welded up not only am I going to weld you know here and here and around here I'm also going to do a plug weld there now this is a license plate holder. It's it's not meant as a stinger, but if it happens to hit something, um, <laughs> I want the other thing to crumble instead of this. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, pretty damn tough. And uh, I I've been accused of overbuilding before, and I'm fine with that. I, I really am. And my wife is awesome. Look, just what showed up on the welding table. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow I did not have a drill bit big enough for the the pinhole, so I ended up using the step bit. But it turned out to be a win-win because it put a chamfer on both edges. It's really important for me for this uh, to be at 90 to the face, so the plate isn't wonky. So what I did was I went ahead and clamped this up real quick, and then I'm just going to add a couple tacks uh, before. I turn it over and do the tabs on the face.
All right, now this may look kind of janky, but I am wrapping this one inch strap all the way around the frame. And I'm trying to get a half inch out and then a quarter inch in the back. And so trying to, to hold this perpendicular uh, to this face while getting that spacing right um, has proved fun. So we're, I'm working it. Uh, I just need to get a tack on this and go. And here she is in her rough, unsanded, uncleaned up form. So this one inch rim that I put on uh, where the camera ran out of battery, uh, it's a, it does a couple of things. One, it adds some more, some more stability and strength, but also if someone were to back into the vehicle, uh, they wouldn't hit the plate and screw up the plate. The, this would stop them. It would also remind them to look before they back up I think anyway all right so I'm gonna scrub it down and shoot it with primer and then uh, paint it and then it goes on the van all right tapping a couple little metric holes and then adding a little primer and paint After two pretty thin coats of primer, I put three coats of finish on. I think it turned out fairly nice. And then after that, I put on an epoxy uh, clear coat. So this stuff is amazing. It's a, uh, a two-part epoxy uh, clear coat to go over a rattle can. And it really, really makes a difference. Um, it makes an even more difference if you get both uh, satin or both gloss glamour um, when you pick them up from the paint store yeah oops didn't realize it until I put that first coat of glamour on and went oh well that looks shiny <laughs> I made this little jig for painting screws years ago and uh, went ahead and painted the two stainless screws for the front of the license plate just so it matched. Um, yeah, I had to write do not cut or do not uh, get rid of on the back of this because uh, this is my third or fourth one because <laughs> I make these and then chop them up or burn them or something. So this one, this one survived like five years, I think. But great for painting uh, cabinet screws. Project done and installed on the new front bumper. Uh, I'm really happy how this turned out. And as you can see, the white screws just blend in there. It does stick out a little far, but it needs to, trust me. Um, and I put a security lock on there because I, I don't want want that thing walking away. Even though it weighs like 15 pounds, um, pe people suck and I don't, I don't want it to grow its own legs.